हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज भरत योर मेंटर फॉर दिस वीडियो वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक लिंग्विस्ट इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन इजीली डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल Ubuntu 16.04 LTS व्हिच मींस लॉन्ग टर्म सपोर्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इंस्टॉल 16.04 बिकॉज़ ऑलमोस्ट माइट बी ऑल ऑफ द बग्स ऑफ दिस वर्जन इज रेक्टिफाइड बाय द डेवलपर्स एज Ubuntu इज ओपन सोर्स एंड इट्स अ फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम इंटरनेट without paying any type of amount although ubuntu latest version is 20.04 but we are not installing it we are installing 16.04 lts that is long term support and ubuntu is a operating system let me first uh, introduce uh, ubuntu most of the it companies use ubuntu operating system although uh, windows is a popular operating system and it's uh, widely used in the world then also in the it companies they also used to refer Ubuntu operating system. Okay, so let us first discuss why we use Ubuntu operating system and what are the prerequisite for installing Ubuntu operating system. Means what are the system configuration that is required for the Ubuntu operating system. First, we will see about it. Features of operating system. Features of Ubuntu operating system. Why the IT companies and all the other software companies used to refer Ubuntu operating system and in their IT companies means most of the IT companies use use Ubuntu operating system. What is the prerequisite okay. system requirement to install Ubuntu operating system? Means or we can say that recommended system requirement dual core processor. And the second minimum requirement is to install the Ubuntu operating system. Means Ubuntu used to acquire four GB of memory means system memory for processing and all the other stuffs. And third requirement is. 25 GB of free hard disk should be there, okay? Means free memory should be there. And fourth one is not uh, compulsory. Means if we are providing a internet connection, so it will be helpful for the installation. This is the recommended system requirement to install a op uh, Ubuntu operating system, okay? 2 GB, uh, 2 gigahertz of dual core processor, 4 GB system memory, 25 GB of free memory or of hard disk. And uh, internet connection means it will be helpful to find the updates for the operating system uh, which version for the version we, which we are installing. Now let us see the key features means what is the what are the advantages of uh, installing Ubuntu operating system. First one is free uh, Ubuntu operating system is free and open source. And second one is it is reliable means many of the IT companies are using in the current era. Many of the uh, IT companies and many of the software developers, even the web uh, website developers or web application developers, means all the programmers or the, all the developers or the IT they used to refer Ubuntu operating system. And why it is reliable? Because of virus free. None of the virus can easily at, uh, corrupt the files of Ubuntu operating system. It is a virus free operating system. So it is not easy for the virus to attack any of the file which is saved in the operating which is saved in ubuntu operating system and as it is virus free no need of antivirus it is secure even the hackers also cannot uh, breach the firewalls of the ubuntu operating system easily or even they cannot uh, make the loophole here and these are the key features of installing ubuntu operating system okay now let us go to the main part for what we have came here so let us first download the uh, ISO file of Ubuntu from official page. Okay. As we will open the Google Chrome or any of the, I will provide the, uh, I will provide the link in the description part. You can easily get from there. As you will click in the uh, link, it will uh, redirect you in the official page. Now here means uh, Ubuntu comes in two parts. One is the desktop image and one is the server installation image. Means Ubuntu also provides a, ser a server. Here we are seeing how we can install desktop image of a. So according to the system uh, configuration, your system configuration, you will select the 64-bit PC or 32-bit PC. It's a it's a better choice to uh, install 64-bit operating system. Means according to the configuration, according to the uh, hardware configuration. So as I will directly click here in the link, automatically the download will start as you can see from here you can destination where you have to save the file and this is the image file that is also the, uh, that is known as iso file 
I'm saving it in the desktop only. As I click in the save button, it will automatically start. It is of 1.6 GB. So it requires some time to download. It will take some time around 10 to 5 minutes. It depends on your net speed. Means it's de uh, it depends on your internet speed. Okay. As Ubuntu 16.04 is of 1.6 GB. It it will require means uh, it might be it might take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to download. Okay. If the internet speed is good. Okay. Now as we can see here is our uh, Ubuntu operating system 16.04 which is uh, downloaded successfully. As soon as the download will complete we will create a bootable DVD to format the computer or laptop with the help of Power ISO software. Means it's a free software. Okay. Means we have to register it's not a free software but uh, we are using Power ISO means it's the best software to make a bootable DVD, CD and bootable pen drive also. So we are using Power ISO to make a bootable DVD. Okay. Here we are making a bootable DVD. We will just add the ISO file. And from right bottom part, we will select the CD or DVD we are making a bootable. Means we have to make a CD bootable or we have to make a DVD bootable. That we have to select from here. Okay. So I am having DVD. So I will select DVD. After selecting the DVD part from right bottom part, we will go to burn. Before that, let, we, uh, let us see from where we can make a pen drive bootable. If we don't have DVD or we don't have CD and we want to make a pen drive bootable. So we will go to tools. Here make a USB drive image file. Create bootable USB drive. Okay. From here you can easily make a USB drive bootable. So we will make a ISO file and we will just click in burn. And here if we want to uh, again add an image file then from here also we can add okay if you don't want to add here it's not mandatory to add here means directly we will go to burn image file we will select our image file from the desired location means where we have downloaded the iso file from here we will open okay in the burning drive means means external or internal dvd writer drive okay dvd writer and just we will click in the run so as the burning process will be completed means as the DVD or CD will be get automatically ejected from the DVD writer. So after uh, successfully completion of the DVD writing after that if you want to check uh, the the file is uh, correctly burned or not and if this type of icon will be appear okay means 1.54 GB is occupied by the Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Now just follow the steps to install the system in a new machine.
like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance, you can tell.